All right, guys, welcome back to another lesson with Jelly Note. And today we're going to be looking at Justin Bieber's Love Yourself. Uh, a couple of things before we get started. One, we're at open D tuning. So the guitar is tuned to D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Um, we've got a capo on two and the tab and all the info is on jellynote.com. All right, guys, so we're going to look at this sort of pre-chorus, My Mama Don't Like You, bit of uh, Justin Bieber's Love Yourself. Um, we'll kick off just by looking at the chords and then we'll stick the melody in sort of like last time. So chord number one, C sharp minor. Chord number two is kind of like an A. Just be careful with that one, it's a bit of a stretch. So there's my first finger on the second fret. Then I'm up here in the third string, third fret. Then my pinky stretching over here to the fifth string, or the fifth fret on the top string. Then we have E. Just like that. And one more chord we're going to use, which is three notes. It's fifth string, second string open, and then your first string on second fret. So. All right, so. One thing to note here is that melody notes will be played as harmonics, open strings, fretted strings, and they can also be strummed as part of a chord. So for example, if I strum that, it could be that that high note is part of the melody. All right, we'll kick in the first sort of line, and we're gonna have open first string, harmonic in the fourth fret, first string, hammer on two. Now we're getting into the C sharp minor. We're going to play it with your thumb and play this harmonic on the third string with index finger or whatever finger you want to use. Then strum the chord, open. So putting that together. After that, we're gonna have a single, open first string, then into our next chord. Staying in this position, First string again, strum, pull off, first string. All together. Now, on this E here, I hit the bass string twice. Strum the chord. I'll try that full line. Now the second time around, it's the exact same thing, only replace the last melody note, which used to be an open first string, with a harmonic on the third uh, string. So I'll try that. Those two lines together. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the second section of the pre chorus bit. So, kick it off, we have a harmonic on the fourth string, seventh fret. 5th fret, bottom string, slides on, C sharp 
minor chord with the two at the bottom, pull off the zero, strum the bottom three strings, hammer back on the two, finish it off with this chord. That chord is fourth fret bottom string, fifth fret third string, and then fifth fret up top as well. So, putting that together. Easy enough. From there, we go back to the bottom string, open, hammer on two, four, hammer on five. With that four, you noticed I played top string, third string, second string along with it. After that, we have a harmonic on the third string, hammer on on two, bottom string, then this chord, which is fifth, second string, open, second fret at the bottom, then pull it off. So that bit. After that, we'll strum the bottom three, two or three, doesn't really matter too much, strings, then go way up here on seven and nine. We'll play it once on its own, then once with a bass note up here in nine and two. Play that bass note twice, and we're back down to five. And that five gets played with the bottom two strings open. And then I put a little bass note in here, which is the open fourth string as well. So all together. And from there, we just have a little run. That looks like this. So we'll play the first two. Up here in seven and nine. The third one gets played with the A bass, or the fifth string bass. Slide down. Slide down. Slide down. So all together.